Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video. So for today's video, I am going to be trying the Kiara Sky Medium Almond Jelly Tips. I am also going to be basically showing the Kiara Sky Jelly Tip Starter Kit, but instead of having everything in the box like I have in my previous videos, I just went ahead, I have everything out of the box. When you do purchase a Kiara Sky Jelly Tip Starter Kit, of course you will have the box. Um, I have unboxed two of the Kiara Sky Jelly Tip Starter Kits, so I will go ahead and leave the link to those down below in the description box in case you haven't seen those videos. But basically, you will get to pick the shape, length of your nail tips, and then you'll get the mini curing lamp and also the four prep liquids, the builder, and the top coat. So today, I'm going to be trying the medium almond tips. I normally struggle with almond tips, so I was very excited to try these out today. Just taking a look at everything quickly, we do have the Beyond Pro Flash Sensor Curing Lamp. This one is their newest addition or newest model to this lamp. Um, I didn't have the previous one, but from seeing other creators use it, I do know that it had the button on the back to where when you would plug it in, you would press that button to turn it on and to turn it off. This one, because it is the flash sensor curing lamp, you will plug it in, put your finger underneath of it, and it will automatically turn on. The only downfall with this nail lamp is that there is no way of turning it off unless you wait for the timer to automatically turn it off or you actually unplug the nail lamp. The next thing here, we have the liquids. All of these are in a 15 ml bottle. Step number one, which is the prep or dehydrator. Step number two, which is the primer. This is what is going to bond our nails. Step number three, which is the builder. You will use this product as your base coat and to apply the nail tips. And then step number four, which is the top coat. Once you are all finished with the nail set, you will have your top coat to apply that. I really like that these are all full size and 15 ml. I like how they come with the dehydrator, primer, the builder, of course, and also a top coat. And of course, the last item are the jelly tips. We get 500 nail tips in 10 different sizes. They do have different lengths and shapes available. You don't have to choose almond. I just wanted to try out different ones. That way you guys can see the length on me. You can also see the shape and everything like that. I have also tried their coffin nail tips as well. And I will be trying some more nail tips because I just really love these jelly tips. I think they are super good quality and overall I just like the look of them. So opening it up they do come in a very nice case. On the top we have the Kiara Sky logo and then opening it we have the numbers for the tips. The sizes are 0 through 9 giving us 10 different sizes. I pulled out a size 0 nail tip and you can see here that the Kiara Sky logo is on the inside of the nail tip. These are very nicely shaped. I loved the almond so much. I felt like most times with almond nail tips, the nail bed is very small and it doesn't go as wide. But with these ones, I felt like for me, they were a lot wider than other almond nail tips that I have tried in the past. They do have a very natural apex and just overall a great shape. The cuticle area of these nail tips is a little bit thinner, giving it more flexibility, being able to seal it better to your cuticle, and then of course the free edge is a little bit thicker, giving it more strength and support so our nails don't break or chip. And of course, once you also apply whatever product you're using on top, that will also help strengthen up the nail tips. Here is size 0 and 9 side by side just so you can get a little reference of the sizes. I'm not sure if Kiara Sky makes it available for you to see the actual like size, the millimeter of the nail tip or not. 
Um, I've never really seen that, so I don't think they do, but it would be super helpful that they would include that. That way you can measure out your nails and for sure see if they are going to fit you since everybody does have all kinds of different sized nail beds. For me, these nail tips did fit me great. I didn't have to go to the very largest size, but I did have to go to the very smallest size for my pinky. So basically, that is the Kiara Sky Jelly Tip Starter Kit. Like I mentioned, of course, yours will be packaged in a box, but I just like to purchase different nail tips and use the same products together. That is something else you can do. If you already have the starter kit, you can purchase the item separately if you want to change and get a different nail shape. But let's go ahead and start here with some nail prep. Recently, I've been doing a lot of Gel X videos and I really love to include my nail prep because it is very basic nail prep, but it is super, super important to your nails lasting, giving them that longevity and lasting those three plus weeks. So the nail prep, I like to take a cuticle pusher and gently push that push back my cuticles. I use this dual-ended cuticle pusher which actually has like a scraper on the uh, opposite end and after I push back my cuticles I'll use that scraper to help scrape up and remove any more of that dead skin. I feel like getting rid of the dead cuticle on your natural nail plate is a very crucial step when prepping your nails. If you leave on that dead cuticle the nail tip isn't going to bond properly to your natural nail and that is going to result in the nail tip lifting and then your manicure is not lasting as long. So definitely take your time and really focus on doing your natural nail prep, getting rid of all that dead cuticle. After I was finished with that, I did decide to take my e-file with this cuticle ball bit. This one is from Kiara Sky. I love using cuticle ball bits to remove any more of that dead leftover cuticle skin. I think it is very easy, also super beginner friendly. I have my drill on a very low speed and because this cuticle ball bit is more of kind of like a safety bit, you can take it up on your skin and around your cuticle to remove the dead cuticle and I just feel it is super helpful, especially for beginners. If you struggle with clipping your cuticles with cuticle nippers, I know that's something that very like scares me a lot because I always think I'm going to cut too much and make myself bleed. But using this cuticle ball bit, I have never made myself bleed. I've never cut myself. It doesn't burn or irritate me. So I feel like it is a very good option for beginners if you are afraid to clip your cuticles with with cuticle nippers. After I was fin finished with my cuticle work, I am just taking a buffer and going over top of my natural nails to remove the shine. I'm doing this very gently. I don't want to really file anything off of my nails. I just want to gently remove that shine. After that, I just take a stiffer dust brush and brush away all of the nail dust. One thing I do want to mention is you do not want to wash your hands to remove that dust. You want to keep your hands very dry. You don't want to go in and wash them or use soap or any types of lotion. When you are doing your natural nail prep, you want to keep your hands up away from water, soaps, um, cuticle oil, anything like that because if you combine that with your nail prep, that's when your nails are going to pop off a lot sooner than you want them to. So after I was all finished with the prep, I went in with step number one, the nail dehydrator. I applied that to dehydrate my nails. I then went in with step number two, which was the primer, applied that to all of the nails. Both of those are an air dry product, so I let them air dry. My nails were all prepped and ready. So now I'm going in with the base coat. If you don't specifically have a base coat, but you did buy this kit, you can use step number three, that builder, as your base coat. But I just like to use a regular base coat most of the times just because it is a little bit easier to apply because it isn't as thick. It also helps me to save the actual builder specifically for only applying my nail tips. So I went in with a layer of base coat to all of the nails and then I cured in my nail lamp for a full 30 second cure. 
Now, of course, all of that was just for educational purposes, and it does work for me when I'm doing gel extensions on my toenails. If you do want your nails to last, I would follow along with a very good prep routine. That way, you don't struggle with any lifting or your nails falling off. Like always, I did just go in with a peel-off base coat. That way, I am easily able to remove these nails. But now I am ready to size out my nail tips. I do know some people like to do this before they even prep their nails. And if that's you, that's totally fine. If it works for you, then it works for you. But I feel like I always like to prep my nails first and then size out my nail tips. But I do know that there can be very good reasons as to why you would want to do this before you actually prep. But for sizing out my nail tips, it was very easy. I just pick out a size that I think is going to fit. I place it on my nail plate and then I make sure it fits from sidewall to sidewall. If it doesn't fit you perfectly or if you are in between sizes, always size up and do any customization if needed. Never size down. If you're using a nail tip that is too small, you are more likely to have your nail tips pop off and not last as long in which more than likely we all want our nails to last for those three plucks three plus weeks and really get the longevity out of our nails, which leads me to this next thing. Always prep your jelly tips. I don't always show this in my videos because I don't actually end up doing it, but it is super important to prep your jelly tips. Personally, I like to go in and etch the inside with a fine grit sanding band and my e-file. I brush out that dust and then I kind of double it by also chemically etching the nail tip as well. To chemically etch, you can use a primer. I'm using the step number two primer to chemically etch the nail tip. Doing both of these, I feel like it is a very good prep routine to do for your jelly tips. If you choose to only do one or the other and it works for you, then that's totally fine as well. But for me, when I'm doing gel extensions on my toes, I always love to etch and also chemically etch the nail tips just because it gives me the feel in my mind that they are very good prepped. Not only do I have my natural nails prepped, but the jelly tips are also prepped very well and ready to apply to my nails. So for the thumbnail, I did have to do a little bit of filing. But for the rest of the nails, they fit me very nicely. Like I mentioned in the beginning, I didn't have to use the largest nail tip size, but I did have to use the smallest for my pinky. I am now ready to apply these nail tips. So using step number three, the builder and the nail lamp, I have that all plugged in and I am ready to start applying the jelly tips to my natural nails. I take a little bit of the builder, apply it to the nail tip. I kind of paint it on like I'm covering the area where my natural nail is going to be and then I apply a little bit more of that product at the cuticle area just to make sure I have enough of that gel in the nail tip to cover the entire natural nail. To place the nail tip on, doing it at a 45 degree angle is always the best and easiest way to do it to avoid any bubbles and getting the nail tip on your nail properly. So I like to start at the cuticle area and just slowly lowering it at a 45 degree angle until all of the gel product has reached the free edge, has covered my entire natural nail, and I don't see any bubbles. If you do see bubbles, it is recommended that you don't cure. You actually take the nail tip off and try again. You want to avoid bubbles at all costs. Once I do have the nail tip applied, I'll go ahead, hold it in place, and do a 15 second cure under the flash lamp. I'll repeat the same process to all of the nails. Once they are all applied, I'll go ahead and do a full 30 second cure.
once I had all of the nails applied, I'm just going in with a little bit of filing. I go around the cuticle to remove any spillage and also to seal in the cuticle. I then like to take a buffer to remove the shine from the nail tip. This really helps with your product last and stay on the jelly tip. And then I also just quickly take a hand file to round out the nail tip and just make sure I file off the little piece on the end because I want everything on the free edge to be super crisp and smooth. So doing my nail design today, I will be using this very new collection from Kiara Sky. They did send these over to me and I am so, so blessed and so thankful. I absolutely love this collection so much. This collection is the Diamond FX Brights Collection. It has 12 bright ultra reflective glitter gels. And let me just tell you guys, these are so bright, so pigmented, very neon, and and packed full of glitter. I love these gels so much. I wanted to use them in today's nail set and I decided that I would also swatch all 12 of these colors out. That way you guys can see all of the colors, the swatch, and decide if you want to purchase any of them since they are very new. So all 12 of the colors are available to purchase in the 12 color collection, but these colors are also available to purchase separately, which I really love as well. In case you don't love all 12 of the colors, you can purchase only the colors that you do like and the colors that you will use. So like I mentioned, there are 12 colors in this collection. The color collection name is Diamond FX Brights Collection. Absolutely perfect for summer. Um, I love these colors so much. Just wait until you see all of the colors side by side. I thought they were absolutely gorgeous shades. I didn't mention this yet, but while I am swatching these out, I wanted to mention that I do have a discount code with Kiara Sky. That code is nailed by Brandy10, and if you use that, you can save a little bit money off your purchase. I also do have an affiliate link, so you can shop through that as well if they have like a sale going on or or if something is already discounted, you can still support me through the affiliate link. So of course, I will be linking everything down below, like the Jelly Tip Starter Kit, all of the items individually, and this new collection down below as well, just in case you do see anything, if you love these colors as much as I do and want to pick some of them up, or all of them up, you can just check the links down below and pick up whatever you want to purchase for yourself. But I really feel that you should treat yourself to these colors for sure. They are a little bit pricey. I do know that Kiara Sky products are more on the expensive end, but they are really good quality products. I love their products. I do have one thing that I will say about these gels, just because, like always, I like to keep it very transparent with you guys. I'm always being honest. If I don't like something about a product, I always want to tell you guys. But that thing is very small, but I still do want to mention it, is that because these gels are so packed with glitters, it does make it a little bit harder to apply. Um, it kind of feels very grainy, like if you have ever used that hand soap that most like mechanics use or in garages and it has that grain in it, it kind of reminds me of that. Um, I just, I kind of get a very grainy feel when applying them. It just makes it a little bit more difficult, but um, I feel like everything else about these colors, it's not going to stop me from picking them up and using them. I also did do nail art with them today and vertical ombres and I didn't really notice much of a difference with that grainy texture. When you do apply the polish and cure it, another thing is you can't really feel the glitter or the grain so I feel like that they did very 
they did do very good with the formula, but just because there is a lot of reflective glitter in there, you do get a little bit of a grain to it. And of course, more than likely, you will be applying a top coat anyways. And once I applied my top coat, I didn't feel any glitter, any grain. It was all smooth and I didn't feel anything. But like I mentioned, I just wanted to let you guys know that there is more of a little bit of a grainy texture to these polishes. And the reason for that is because they are packed with reflective glitters. Everything else about this collection I absolutely love just because that is a little flaw. It is not going to stop me from using them. Just wait until you see all 12 colors. They are so stunning. Very, very gorgeous. They look so pretty out in the sun and under your flash flashlight. I just couldn't stop looking at these colors in my camera roll currently. I'm not even lying to you guys. I probably have like about 20 videos of these swatch sticks, like the ones I'm going to show you. I just couldn't put my phone down. I couldn't stop recording these colors. They were so pretty and seeing the like videos for the Kira Sky videos I kept watching them over and over and over again just because of how bright and neon and glittery these colors are. I am absolutely obsessed with these colors. I do recommend you picking up the entire collection or even just a couple of the colors to try because they are extremely beautiful. But those were all of the swatches. Here are the 12 colors. I did go in with two coats of color and also the top coat. That way you could just see the color with two coats and also with the top coat being applied. This is under my normal lighting. I don't have any flash on at this very moment but I will be turning off my lights and turning on my phone's flash in just one second here, but my little girl, Willow, also wanted to pop in and give her opinions on these colors as well. These colors are definitely dog approved. I thought this was so funny. She wanted my attention. She wanted to see what I kept looking at, but here are the colors under like no lighting. There was a little bit of sunlight coming in, but this is with my phone's flash. Flash. My two favorite colors from this collection would have to be that one pink. I believe it was the third pink. And then I also really like the aqua color in between the green and the blue. Those are my all-time favorite colors from this collection, but all of them are absolutely stunning. But let's go ahead and jump into this nail design. So I am going to be using various colors from that color collection in today's nail set. So starting off with the first color here, which I believe this is the pink. That's my favorite out of the collection. I'm not 100% sure. But like I mentioned, I'm going to be doing vertical ombres. So for each of the nails, it will have two colors. And then when I go to the next nail, I'll use the previous color from the other nail. You guys will see what I'm talking about, but once, once I get there... I do have to say though that these colors were very, very easy to ombre. I didn't have any troubles at all. I was easily able to blend the colors. I didn't really get a super harsh line. So I feel like these colors pass for vertical ombres on your nails. I think they looked and turned out really good. The colors are also just so bright. I was so obsessed, but I'm just going to be doing two colors on each of the nail. I'll place my first color. I'll go in with the second color, keeping it a vertical ombre. So one color on the left side and the other color on the right side, doing a little bit of blending. Like I said, I didn't really have to do much, especially for the pinky nail, just because those colors kind of blended very nicely together since they were kind of like almost the same color, but you can obviously tell there's a big difference. But I'm going to be doing this on all of the nails, just placing down the first color, going in with the second, doing a little bit of blending, just using the brush from the second color to do ending any blending that I want. And then once I have that blended and how I want it to look, I will go ahead and do a 30 second cure before moving on to the next nail. That way I can make sure that I don't bump it and mess up any of the ombre that I have created. 
So I will go in with all of the nails. I'll do one coat and then I did decide to throw on a second coat just because I wanted to really have these colors shine and look as good as possible. I did feel though that it looked fine with one coat. I could have totally left it with just one coat. But like I mentioned, I just wanted the colors to really show their true colors and look as best as possible. So I will then, once I have my first coat, I will do the same thing, repeating the vertical ombres, just going in with a second coat. There really isn't much for me to explain here. Um, one thing I do quickly want to mention though is that for this first coat, I don't have it sped up. It is in real time. And then for the second coat, since it is basically the same exact process, I I did go ahead and speed that footage up a little bit but I'm just gonna go ahead and let this play out I really hope that you guys are enjoying the video if you are and haven't subscribed yet please make sure you subscribe give the video a like it really helps me out a lot and if you're feeling generous leave a comment below Here are the nails after I was all finished with that second coat. The vertical ombres are giving. I love the rainbow. I think these are so gorgeous, especially the bright colors. I just cannot get over them. I am going to be doing a little bit of airbrushing and for my design at this point, I kind of was trying to use the airbrush to save time and to help me out a little bit, but in the long run, it kind of didn't work how I wanted it to and you'll see what I'm talking about in a second here. But I wanted to do stars on these nails and my original plan was to just do white airbrush stars, but then once I was looking at it on the nail, I was like, do those really go with this nail set? And I kind of debated for a little while and I decided that I would just also make them colorful stars. But my original plan was to just do white stars. And using the airbrush, I thought it would help out so much because I wouldn't have to hand draw the stars. I was able to just use a stencil and it was working pretty well, but I didn't like how the white wasn't looking as bright of a white as I wanted it to look. I really wanted these stars to be super bright white, stand out on the very colorful background, and I feel like with the airbrush, I just wasn't really getting the look that I wanted. So once I did this nail, I did go, go ahead and do all of the other nails. I went ahead and just cut that out because I decided there's really no point in leaving that in the video. 
I showed the first one in real time, very simple and standard process. And because I didn't really love it, I was going to be covering up the um, stars anyways. So again, my original plan was to do just bright white stars. So that's why I'm going right in immediately with the white because at this point, I was still thinking, I'm just gonna do white stars. So because the white wasn't as bright as I wanted it to be, I just went in with the white gel polish and painted it on with the line brush. So, I mean, I guess the airbrush did kind of help because I was able to just outline the stars. So it wasn't a huge deal, but because I ended up not actually liking the white, after doing the next layer with the glitter gel polishes, making them bright, colorful stars instead, it kind of deformed the shape of the stars a little bit because I started with the airbrush stars and then I painted over them with white and then I changed my mind because I didn't really like that, so I painted over them with another polish. So the stars did deform a little bit after all of those coats, but eventually, I mean, it still turned out out, I did still really like the nail set and I think the nail set honestly is perfect for these gel polishes because they literally shine like stars. But after I did apply the white gel polish to all of the nails, I was just looking at them. I didn't really love the white. Looking at it back no Looking at it back now, I don't really see any huge issue with it. I feel like if I would have left them white stars, it would have still turned out very cute. But in the time being, I decided I wanted to just use those same glittery gel polishes, but kind of obviously mixing up the colors and just paint in the white stars with the glitter. And I feel like that just looked a lot nicer in my opinion. So I'm just going in with those glitter gel polishes and basically just coloring in the white stars to make them bright colored stars instead. I'll do this to all of the nails and then I will cure for 30 seconds in the nail lamp. Now that you can see the nails with the colorful stars, I would love to know, would you have left the white stars or would you have made them colorful? I feel like looking back at it now, seeing them in both ways, I really don't have a favorite, but personally, I feel like this more colorful version is a lot better for summer just because it is a very bright nail set, it's full of color, and just looks very good. But I'm curious to know, so let me know down below. You can say white or colorful, or you can put white hearts or colorful heart emojis, and I'll know what you're talking about. But I did go in with step number four, which was the top coat. I applied that to all of the nails. I cured for 30 seconds in the nail lamp. And then now I am taking my absolute favorite rose scented cuticle oil from Kiara Sky. That one smells just so freaking good. I applied that to my cuticles to nourish them and of course, like I always say, top off the nail set and here is the finished look of these nails. I really am obsessed. I love the vertical ombres so freaking much. I feel like I need to do vertical ombres more often. There's just something about it that I love that even though the nails are simple, they still have so much color and I feel like there's a lot going on and these are super, super perfect summer nail inspiration. I feel like it is also a very easy set to recreate. You can do the vertical ombres and even if you just have like colorful star stickers, that would work as well if you aren't the best with nail art and on Honestly, just save a lot of time as well. But here are the finished look of these nails. I really hope you guys did enjoy today's video. 
I also hope that you guys enjoyed the way the nails turned out, the new Diamond FX Brights collection from Kiara Sky. I will be linking all of the products that I did use and mention down below in the description box along with my discount code. Here are the nails in low lighting. I did have some sunlight coming through my window since it was still daylight out, but the very end shot will be in a dark room with the flash. Here are how the nails are looking out in the sun. So just a quick little reference here. These gel polishes do not have holographic glitter in them. So that's why you're not really seeing the rainbow or the diamond look to them. They do only have the reflective glitters. So I feel like they do look best in low lighting under a flashlight. But again, in person, the nails look a lot different. I feel like the camera doesn't always do the best job picking up how beautiful the nails look unless you really are seeing them in person but here I feel like the camera does pick it up a lot better you can really see those reflective glitter pieces and I just think the nails are so stunning I really hope that you guys did enjoy the video but as always don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I will see you all next time <music>